Little Ryan here, a uh, prolific invention channel. I'm here today to talk about an idea I had, and that's what this video is. It's mostly talking, I'll show some demonstrative videos, but here we go. Uh, this is a hot bulb type engine. It was invented way back in the 1800s, around the time of the steam engine. It's actually more thermally efficient than a steam engine. It's also simpler. Uh, you can input a variety of fuels, including uh, diesel fuel, oil, crude oil, creosote, paraffin, many other fuels. And uh, other advantage of this engine is its simplicity. There's no electronics. There's no ignition system. That basically, you just pump oil in. Uh, and what I would like to do is modernize this engine, make it a little more efficient. These, the, this particular engine here runs at about 12% thermal efficiency at only a uh, compression ratio of 5 or 6 to 1. And right before the diesel was invented by Rudolf Diesel, work was done on this engine and uh, they were able to get 18 to 1 compression ratios with an injection system. However, Rudolf Diesel had, had just came out with a patent for that, so it wasn't further developed. Now, if you, there wouldn't take much for a machinist to, to make this engine run at a higher compression ratio with the addition of an oil injection system and a little bit a redesign of the hot bulb. I and mean, that's what I'd like to do, just see that done anyway. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, but I will do it. If you know me, I, I do achieve the things that I set out to do. And further on in the uh, implementation of this device, there are, uh, there are ways to develop oil from used plastic. There's a man who invented a system that takes a variety of plastic trash, you put it in a chamber, it's heated, it boils through simple tap water, and it produces... Uh, what it comes up with is uh, oil out the other end, a, a fairly high quality oil, but quality isn't important with this type of engine. Now, of course, I'd put some uh, a generator on there as well as an emissions control system to reduce the output of gases, but this engine is known to run clean to begin with, so that's an advantage as well. Uh, coming up is a video, it's about the start of this plastic to oil machine. It's, it's really a genius device. And I, I'm thinking of pairing this device or something similar with the Blackstone type modernized engine. So you put plastic in one end and electricity comes out the other. Now, if you can't see the benefits of this, uh, third world nations could take advantage of it to take plastic trash and develop electricity. Uh, there's, there's many other uses for it. Uh, but currently, there's nothing like this on the market. And this technology wouldn't be expensive to develop. Um, there's also other ways to make oil. You have used motor oil. You have sewage sludge. I have a video coming up here about converting sewage sludge, which is a big problem, directly into oil. There are, there's been a way developed to turn sewage sludge directly to oil. And it's not very energy intensive. It appears to be, but the amount of output is way higher than the input as far as is energy extracted. So that's what this video is about. It's about turning and finding oil in places and then utilizing it with this engine. Now, I appreciate everybody who watches my channel. And if you watch this entire video, please uh, comment. I'd like to hear what you think about it. And... Uh, your input, ideas, uh, even your negative feedback is fine. I understand there's always negative feedback. But hopefully you can see what I'm trying to get across about how this could be a game changer in technology in the world. Turning plastic trash directly into energy. I don't know of other ways to do this. I'm sure there are. But here, here we go with the sewage video. Now this is pretty amazing. I did a lot of research to come up with these. And uh, this is the by far the best way and least energy intensive way to make sewage sludge an unutilized resource directly into oil. I appreciate everybody who, uh, who watched. And uh, if you'd like and subscribe on my channel, it really helps me out. And I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.